Hey everybody, Matt Powers Sports Memorabilia. It is August 2nd, 2018. Hey, if you get a chance, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button here if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, Gonna have a bunch of videos coming out this year on a wide range of sports memorabilia topics. Uh, so some stuff for some new people, some stuff for some old people. So make sure you uh, tune in and hit that little subscribe button there. So I uh, had a question come up yesterday that is a very simple question uh, for people who uh, obviously buy this stuff all the time. But if you haven't purchased any helmets before, you probably don't know. And the question was, uh, how big is a mini helmet in comparison to a full size helmet? Okay, so real simple question. But again, if you're buying a gift for someone and you don't know anything about this stuff, that is actually a really, really good question. So I've got uh, and a couple examples here. Baker Mayfield signed Browns helmets. Obviously the one here is the mini and then obviously you got the full size there. So you can kind of see the different ratios here and what we're talking about. Let's just start off with the mini helmet dimensions, okay? Mini helmets are about five inches tall, okay? Uh, they run about six inches long and about four inches wide. That's roughly the dimensions of a mini helmet, okay? Full size helmet you got right over here. You're looking at about 10 inches tall. Uh, you're about eight inches wide and about 11 inches long, okay? So basically almost double uh, the dimensions of the mini helmet. Uh, obviously cost is gonna be a big uh, differentiator here too. Mini helmets are a lot more inexpensive and easier to display, whereas full-size helmets are obviously more expensive and you've gotta get a little bigger case and it's kind of a little harder to display. So my personal preference when you are buying a gift for someone, and you are deciding between a mini and a full size helmet, I always steer people towards the mini helmet for those kind of couple reasons that I just mentioned. One, it's more cost effective. I mean, you, you wanna get as most, most bang for your buck when you're buying an autographed item as a gift. And um, mini helmets are easy to display. So um, if you're giving it to the person and they don't have a whole bunch of space, maybe they live in an apartment or something like that, Super easy to display a mini helmet. You can get a little display case around there. It fits right on their desk, and uh, it's a super thing, uh, easy to do. Uh, again, cost-wise too, they're usually depending on which athlete you're talking about. They can be you know close to 100 bucks on some people, sometimes less actually. So 50 to 100 bucks for some of the lesser athletes. Um, and if you have to ship something across the country, and you can ship a mini helmet for like five bucks first class mail. Whereas a full-size helmet is going to cost you, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. So, uh, so those are the dimensions again. Again, mini helmets are about five inches tall. Full-size helmets are about 10 inches tall. Um, and for autograph collectibles, though, the mini helmet is one of the most underrated items. I personally think uh, autograph baseballs are obviously the the great way to go for baseball items. But for football items, I love the mini helmets. They're just the way to go. So, uh, if you got any questions on mini helmet, full-size helmet sizes. Uh, go ahead and shoot me a uh, message. Don't shoot me, but shoot me a message uh, over at powersportsmemorabilia.com. You can email me, matt at powersportsmemorabilia.com, or give me a call, 650-888-7915. Again, simple topic, but a couple good questions from some uh, recent customers. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.